Hello and welcome to this social media design course, Gareth here from tastitudes.com. So over the past couple of years, as a freelance designer based here in London, on occasion, I have had to create various social media campaigns for various clients, which has meant having to create graphics across social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Now, as well as that, I run my own YouTube channel, and I often have to produce social media to promote my work and new content. I also have to create YouTube thumbnails and new artwork for my channel on a regular basis. So over the past few years, I have been creating a lot of design for social media. So I have developed this course to share with you some of the things I have learned and the techniques I use to create my social media. Now you will find this course useful if you manage a YouTube channel, a Facebook page, a Twitter account, or a Google Plus page. Now also on this course, I'm offering you my personally designed social media kit, which you can get for free. The link is in the description. This media kit is going to help you guys with your social media design. So over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be sharing with you and demonstrating how you can create social media really easy across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google Plus using my free media template kit. Now, if you're watching this and you're already social media savvy, then I hope you find the templates a really useful resource. So before we get into it, let's take a look at what's inside my social media kit. So once you have downloaded the media kit, with the folder open, you will find four folders inside. Here I have separated each social media platform into its own folder. So starting with Facebook, here we have six template files. We have a Facebook profile image template, a profile header template, a Facebook square post, a Facebook rectangle post, a Facebook ad post, and a Facebook demo document. Now the profile, header, and posts are templates with the right canvas scales, and these have been created to help you create your social media with. Now the last template is very different here. This is the Facebook demo. When you open this in Photoshop, you can see this is a template you can use to easily preview your social media across various devices, from desktop to mobile. Now I use this as a way to test my images across devices to make sure there are no issues and they fit perfectly before I upload them. Now I'll be going into how to use this in more depth in the social media design for Facebook episode. So back in the social media kit, this time I'll come into the YouTube folder. So just like with Facebook, here we have some template documents for media for YouTube, such as the profile image, YouTube header, thumbnails, and again, I have prepared a YouTube demo for you. So if you open this up in Photoshop, here you have a really useful resource to preview your YouTube media across devices, and also in various instances. Now, in case you're not familiar with the way the graphics work on YouTube, YouTube graphics often adapt in size when the browser is at various sizes and rotations. So using this demo will make it quick and easy for you to preview your artwork before uploading, such as the thumbnails and the header. Again, I'll be showing you how to use this in the social media design episode for YouTube. So back in the social media folder, we have further templates for Twitter and Google+. So just like with the Facebook and the YouTube folders we just saw, we have the same for all the other platforms. We have the empty template documents to create content and the in situ demo documents for each for you to preview your artwork before uploading. So that's a brief introduction to this course and the files you can use over the next couple of episodes. Now there will be an episode for each social media platform. So if there is any social media platform you would like to design for in particular, you can find the link to each episode in the description. So once you have downloaded the social media kit, let's get into it. And I'm going to start with the first video in this series and look at how we can prepare graphics for Facebook. So see you in the next video.